3 grid. Let's count that. So first let's write it in a matrix form as it is 3 into 3 grid, 3 into 3 matrix and here this small rectangle which is of the size 1 into 1, 1 row, 1 column like that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there are 9 rectangles of the size 1 into 1, 1 row, 1 column. Then 1 row, 2 columns. So 1 row, 2 columns. 1 and 2 together, it's 1 rectangle. Then 2 and 3 together, 2nd rectangle. 4 and 5, 3rd rectangle. 4th, 5, 6. There are 6 rectangles of the size 1 row, 2 columns. Then 1 row, sorry, 2 rows, 1 column. So 2 rows, 1 column, like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 rectangles of the size 2 rows, 1 column. That 1 row, 3 columns. 1 row, 3 columns. Means that 1, 2, 3 together is a rectangle. Then 4, 5, 6 together another rectangle. 7, 8, 9 together another rectangle. So 3 rectangles of the size 1 row, 3 columns. Then 3 rows, 1 column. 3 rows, 1 column. So 1, 4, 7 together 1 rectangle. 2, 5, 8 together 1 rectangle, 3, 6, 9, 1 rectangle. So 3 rectangles of 3 rows, 1 column. Then 2 rows, 2 column. So 2 row, 2 column. 1, 2, 4, 5, 1 rectangle. 2, 5, 3, 6, second rectangle. 4, 5, 8, 7, third rectangle. Then 5, 6, 9, 8, fourth rectangle. So there are 4 rectangles of 2 into 2. Then 2 rows, 3 columns. So 2 rows, 3 columns. 1, then 2. Then 3 rows, 2 columns. So 3 rows, 2 columns. 1, then 2. Then 3 rows, 3 columns. 3 rows, 3 columns. That is the whole rectangle is one big rectangle. So the total rectangle is 9 plus 6 plus 3 which is 18, then 6 plus 4 plus 2, 12, then 3 plus 2 plus 1, 6. So if we add everything, it's 36 rectangles. 36 rectangle in this figure. Instead of doing this matrix form, they can do it by using a formula. So to frame the formula, let's take this last row, 1, 2, 3, it's 1 plus 2 plus 3, then... The second row 2 plus 4 plus 6 we can write that as 2 into 1 plus 2 plus 3. Then this row 3, 6, 9 it is 3 into 1 plus 2 plus 3. So now this we can write it as we, let's take this 1 plus 2 plus 3 as common. Then 1 plus 2 plus 3. And this is equal to the square 1 plus 2 plus 3 into 1 plus 2 plus 3 which we can write it as square. So this is sum of sum of positive integers. The sum of positive integers we can find that by using the formula n into n plus 1 divided by 2 and it's square so square it. So instead of using this matrix form. We can calculate the number of rectangle by using this formula straight away. So, for example, it's 3 into 3 grid. N is 3 here. So, 3 into N plus 1, 4 divided by 2, which is 3 into 2, 6 square. 6 square is 36. So, here after, instead of using this, doing like this, just use this n into n plus 1 divided by 2, the whole square, to find the number of rectangles in n into n grid. Figure. Let's take this lower part as 2 into 2 grid and this upper part as two, again 2 into 2 grid, then the middle part. So here in this lower part, 2 into 2 grid, so by n into n plus 1 divided by 2, the whole square, by this, there are 9 rectangles. And in this upper part, there are 9 rectangles. Then from here, this is this line joins this lower and this upper part. So from here, 
let's calculate the additional rectangles so this is one and taking this the opposite parallel line this is second one so second rectangle and this is the third line so three rectangles taking this as the base then if we take this as the base from here this this is already calculated so don't calculate here this is one rectangle and from this base the opposite parallel in it, this second rectangle and third rectangle so plus three from this base to this parallel and this is one rectangle and second rectangle this base from here to your third rectangle so total nine and here nine plus nine 27 rectangles in this figure so if two n into n grids are joined together to find the number of rectangles here this part by formula we will calculate the remaining this part to calculate that from the joining just check how many parallel lines are over there so above this there are three parallel lines so just do three square instead of doing this just do three square it's enough to get the answer so this is a trick instead of doing this just count the number of parallel lines above this joining part above this there are three parallel lines so do three square in this figure it's the lower part is n into n grid 3 into 3 grid so 36 rectangles then the upper part 3 into 3 grid 36 rectangles then this part this middle part joins the lower and the upper part so from the joining line just check how many lines above this how many parallel lines above this line so there are 1 2 3 4 parallel lines so 4 square do 4 square to get how many rectangles by joining so 4 square is 16 so total there are 36 plus 16 plus 36 88 rectangles in this figure